Well, as, and as a filmmaker, you're always wanting to do something different. Um, Edwin Neal was the was the hitchhiker in the original The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You have this knife? <laughs> wanting him to do some voiceover work for us, narration for the film. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what better way to do this is if we were to bring a sound booth into the original house, area where they shot the infamous uh, dining room scene. And, um, and then have Ed do the narration for the film. And it absolutely turned out stellar, turned out amazing. And yes, Open Waters is uh, going to be a very intense uh, film without a lot of filters in it. And then walks in Ed and just gives this very intense, uh, dynamic uh, narration that literally just set the stage for the whole movie and took it to a whole new level. With only the certainty that every road comes to an end. And a whack. And a whack. Like your which pronunciation is Anna Whack. Anna Whack. Anna Whack. Have you ever been there? It's right before. No, I was in Anna Whack with a friend when we were driving through. Through Chambers County. We were arguing about how you pronounce it. Are you serious? Yeah, we stopped for a a burger, and we were, and so we get, we were arguing. It was a big argument. That's why it sounded so sure. He had, I was so sure. So I, I slapped a hundred dollar bill on the table and I had the waitress come over and I said, tell this asshole the way you pronounce the name of this place. And she said, okay, Dairy Queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Look what your brother did to that door. Look what they did. Look what they've done to that door. It's beautiful. That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, the infamous porch is pretty much the way it was. Wow. And then I came in and the infamous stairs. The infamous stairs. This this is the the, the, the scene where, where you they have like, Give me a hand with grandpa. Give me a hand with grandpa. That's bumping it. Bumping him down. The poor, poor John Dugan was we're, we're like bumping him and dropping him every step because the, the chair and he together were pretty heavy. So it's actually in the film. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> and John's like, because he's not supposed to be. You know, he's old, Decre yes. and, but he's in reality young, and he could never go cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and that's pretty much just the way it was. Where the the back wall had all of the. Uh, the wonderful Robert Burns had put all of the masks and, 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 yes. and, and heads of turtles and dead <laughs> cats and things we don't, what's that? And Robert would go, I don't know. <laughs> it's a skull. <laughs> yeah, but what is it? I don't know. It could be a skull. I don't know. <laughs> Stuck it on the wall. <laughs> so we had skulls up there. Like, wow. Who are they? Is that an antelope? I don't know. <laughs> We'd, we'd look out the window, like the door or the window over here, and we'd see Robert Burns over in a field with, with his shirt off, sweating up a storm, with a towel around his waist and a bag and a little stick. And he'd be finding <laughs> things, you know, like, like dead turtles, and, and he'd be putting these in his bag and go, I'll be right there. <laughs> and then he would come in and continue dressing the set. Every time we'd look out the window, we'd see him like a hundred yards away. Is that Robert? Yeah, he's finding some more stuff. <laughs> What's your opinion of Robert? Uh, yeah. Robert was the best. Robert was, was I mean, he had a vision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, like, he saw things differently than other people see. He did. You know, and that's okay, because when Robert got done with it, it was like, whoa. But a lot of what went into the film and gave it that look was... He put it there. It wasn't uh, Toby going, well, you know, you should have. No, Robert going, I'm going to do this. Exactly. <laughs> I'm putting this here. I want this chicken in a cage. I want, and, and, oh, and here, we have 100 pounds of feathers on the floor. <laughs> and she walked by, the feathers would come out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and she, and she goes real fast, and the feathers are little long, you know, five feet off the floor. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be great. Me, trust me. <laughs> Just for me, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't that the window up there? 
the scene where uh, Leatherface comes in and Marilyn starts to run. And this oh, is yeah, the stairwell. She, yeah, she runs up there and jumps out that window. What was the stunt woman's name? Uh, Sally. Sally Richardson. Really? Uh, Sally Richardson um, took uh, some of the best photos that were taken on the set. Um, she was uh, tremendous. Some of our best photos come from Sally Richardson, who did Marilyn's stunt. And uh, she, she took the photo that uh, we're all standing in front of the barn. Yes. In a gag shot. Yes. That was left by, uh, I think it was left by mistake in a tray of slides, and it later became the German one sheet poster for all of Germany. I've, because they thought, oh, I've it seen talks that. about the film so directly, you know? But it was, it, they took the slide by mistake, and they think, oh, this is perfect what you have. Hmm. This is perfect. And so we get, we, we're sitting there one day, and the German one sheet comes in the mail, and we're like, the heck? That's one of our gag shots. <laughs> that's, that's showbiz. Uh, isn't this the door over here next to the staircase? It, that is the scene, or that is the door where the, Gunnar Hansen does the... Yeah, where, he's, yeah the, where they, had, they had put the metal door in, and then you just slid it across with that great sound effect. Great sound effect. Very, very That's effective. the floor where he kicks his That's feet. right. Yeah. <laughs> That is amazing. Which was wonderful. And that was all Bill Bell, too. Really? Yeah, and he had, he had these great uh, shoes on that were, had hard heels. And when he started kicking, he, as an actor, went, hey, that's working pretty good. So he just sped it up. And... And, wow. And then they just let it go until it was, it's, it's really great in the scene. Because usually it would just be a couple of kicks. Right. But, you know, what I think what makes that scene work so well is Bill just kept kicking. <laughs> and, you know, it's taking him a little while to die, which is far more interesting than... Absolutely. You know, you know, they, you've seen all these movies where they, they have to move, they think they have to move it along and they hit the guy in the head, down he goes. Right. Well, he was, like, still alive. And that makes it all the more horrible, horrific, I think. It made it he look just, real. Until he finally died. It did. And he didn't, you didn't know that he was really dead still because he just takes him and crams him in the, the <laughs> fridge and <laughs> slams the door you know good night crazy <laughs> it's such a amazing thing to just walk through here now because because you you know your mind goes back yes and, and I, i'm having more flashbacks here than i have from vietnam <laughs> it was easier being in Vietnam than it was making this movie, which I've often told people. Yes. Because it was, <laughs> yeah, you know, wasn't it worse, the triple canopy jungle, people shooting at you? No, this was worse. <laughs> so this, Texas, this was the infamous. Uh, uh, in Texas, in August, 109, in the shade. And there wasn't any the shade. No. <laughs> there's this, there's this, the, yeah. that, and that was Marilyn that jumped out of that window. She, you know, it was. Yeah. She did some of, a lot of her own stunts. Wow. But wow, it's so amazing. It takes you back. Oh yeah, it's, it's like kind uh, of echoes. <laughs> I'm hearing echoes. <laughs> and what about I this mean, room? There, there's so many wonderful things that happened here, where uh, they got the chicken. That Robert's cut the head off of a chicken and the feet off the chicken and nailed to a board <laughs> and put them as a centerpiece on the dinner table here. Young lady. And then it started decomposing because it's a real chicken. Yes. <laughs> and they, oh, I didn't think about that. Now, did you guys have ventilation in here? You had no ventilation. But all the, the, the lights from the cameras were so intense, they were decomposing it at an accelerated rate. Mm. And it was like, <laughs> it was like a time lapse photography, like decomposition. <laughs> yeah, and we were like, oh. And so we're over here. I'm over here, right about here. And I'm sitting here going, <laughs> because the, the chicken thing is right here and the smell is coming right straight up to my nose. And Toby and Bill Parsley, the, uh, Parsley, the producer, they're over there on that wall. And you can hear them. You can open them. 
you can hear them right here. And they're standing here. <laughs> but I'm right there. That's all I can hear what they're saying. And they're going, wow, Ed is doing great. He is really on it tonight. <laughs> I didn't have any choice. <laughs> Fermenting chicken. Uh, the smell was like in the air where you could take like a towel and you could lay it on top and push it back down. <laughs> it was so thick in the air. We were like, was making all these horrible faces. And, oh, he's really doing good tonight. Then he, he, he's on it. Hey, go ahead. Oh, we're like, hey, man. Can I go outside? No, we're going outside, but you have to stay here, and we're going to go and figure another shot out. And they got to go outside and breathe fresh air. Right. We had to stay here in the room, and all the windows are taped shut because we're shooting, you know, light, right. light is coming and going outside. Right. And you can't have that, so you just put black stuff over the windows and tape them shut. And there's no <laughs> air moving in the room at all. They can't turn the air conditioner on because the, 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 the recording device will pick it up. So I said, oh, no. We're <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can't go outside. Well, continuity, we have to bring everybody to the same where they are. We can see them out, out, <laughs> out the window having a beverage, you know, with eyes. We're in here going, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it, it's, it's really, real interesting because in, it, in, in, in real movies, that doesn't go on. You know, no. They, they have plastic props and, 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 and plastic injection machines that make you, you know, you make 19 different um, uh, chicken things and then if one gets moved, you just bring another one in. But we had a real chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ed. Yeah. <laughs> now what about this room? This, this is where a lot of the feathers were. I'm a where the bucket was and then we're beating the I'm beating her on the head with the with the with the paper mache. With the with the paper mache <laughs> hammer. And then that was the kitchen back there. And right inside that door is where Toby uh, reached over on a table, an old work table in there and picked up a rag that had been used to wipe the meat off of the tables for about a, two weeks and stuffed it in Marilyn's mouth and put a rope around her. And, and that actually was right. Yeah, was right in there. Right in there. Yeah, but it was a funny stuff because she was like Poor Marilyn. And again, and again Marilyn's doing great. <laughs> She's really. She is miserable. Oh, uh, uh, Marilyn was probably, I'd say, more miserable than three of the rest of us put together because she had to endure more. Oh, yeah. Fake blood, basic ingredient, K rose syrup. Right. <laughs> and they're pouring K rose syrup basically all over her, and, and we're out in the country, and then we have flies the size of dachshunds ah. coming in. K rose syrup! <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're dive bomb, you know. We had like, like you know, like, like little small ball bats and batons trying to get them off. <laughs> but, but she was miserable. And then she couldn't take it off for a long time. We would shoot the scene again, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm.